All right, let's get on to the advice section. We probably will less likely to get in trouble for this. Mm-hmm. When I was in year 10, I naively started dating this guy. We dated for around about nine months. The breakup was horrible, and we spent over a year without being in each other's lives. Here's the problem. He continues to pop up into my life and starts to talk to me in a romantic way and even try to hug me in front of my current boyfriend. I've tried many ways to get the ex to back off, but he won't. I mean, surely you just like... I don't understand why people don't tell people to fuck off more. Mm. I do it quite a lot. I'm not good at that, to be fair. Are I'm you so not? so bad at confrontation. Yeah, yeah. I fucking live for it, to be fair. Yeah. Um, like, if somebody, like, annoys me, they know that they've mm. pissed me off. And if somebody, if somebody pulls something like this, like, number one, if your boyfriend is allowing... Your ex to hug you, yeah. he needs to step up. He needs to step up big time. Yeah, like for one, it depends how the you know it depends how the hug. But I think there's a friendly hug. Twelve seconds long. That's too much. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's too much. Well, if it's eight seconds, eight seconds is borderline. Let me sorry, can I Wait, just think about it? One, two, three. <laughs> Way too long. <laughs> Wait, what, th- three seconds is already too long. 12 seconds. Imagine your <laughs> boyfriend's just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of like Jeez. melting into each other. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Yeah. yeah um, but but I, w- I would be that, but I'd be like, guys, j- you done? <laughs> I just, Mate. Go, I, I feel like I just go, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> that is strange. Yeah, that is fucking seconds. odd. Uh, yeah, surely you just tell him to go away. Or just block him. Yeah. I always find if you want somebody out of your life, if you block them on everything, they're less likely yeah. to try and approach you. Yeah. I think there's people put far too much weight on like unfollowing as well. And I actually do think about this. This is a bit deep, but it's not that deep. But like, it's such a new thing when you end a relationship, right? It's say like even like 20 years ago, if you ended it, you'd never see each other again. You'd never see, you know, it, you'd be so much easier to get over them. But now... Like, even if you unfollow them, you'll see them on, like, their best friend's story all the time. It's, like, this whole other dynamic that no one discusses. This is why, I, when I normally date people, I date people who aren't are in the, my friendship circle. Mm. I always say to all my mates when they date people who are already in the friendship but circle. But you make friends with their friends and you follow them. Do you know what I mean? It's, like... Not if you avoid that. Not if yeah. You, not if you're clean cut like me. Mm. <laughs> Talking about your penis. I think about this. I think about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that too. I think yeah. about this. I think she'll go, oh, do you want to come see my friends? And I'll go... No, because when we inevitably break up, <laughs> that's going to make life considerably harder for me. <laughs> They're constantly playing safe. Yeah, I mean, maybe I should do that next time. <laughs> you yeah, should definitely yeah, break up just, with you for yeah, sure. Just, yeah, just say no to every session. No, I can't do that. All the, all the, all the, all the girls that I've dated, when like I've broken up mm. with them, I don't think, apart from once, I've ever seen them again. Really? Because normally. There's been situations where people have like invited me and my ex girlfriend to the same party, mm. and then as soon as I found out, I just gone, oh, I'm not going to go because like yeah. I want them to enjoy it, and I'm not actually so bothered about being here, and you know I'm not going to turn up and be like, well, oh, I don't want to, you know. But then I don't have any relationships that ended so terribly where it's yeah. like oh, I don't want to like it wouldn't be a problem. It's just like for me, I would I actively I'm a sensitive soul. I'd actively like to just leave that part of my life behind. Mm. I like I like to know when something's over that it's actually over. Yeah. Instead of being in that weird, I hate being in that weird kind of like what's going on scenario. Because then you yeah. end up with shit like this. Like, I always find it weird when like you're at a room and like your mate saying like two of his exes are in the same room. Yeah. It's fucking so awkward and everybody can feel it and everyone yeah, knows about it. it's not ideal. Get your boyfriend to chin him. Yeah, sorry, I forgot about the advice. Yeah, yeah, get your boyfriend to either chin him. Depending on how long the hug is. Yeah, if it's 40... Two second hug. 48 seconds. If there's a pat there, then that's pretty friendly. Yeah, exactly. If he... It's also the, the which way the arms are going. Um, if underneath like this. Yeah. Like Straight he looks at me like, a, like it's a roller coaster. Hands in the back of her bum pockets. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's even... That's uh, 12 seconds long. Yeah, that's 12 seconds. Even, that's even worse. That's fucking horrific. <laughs> yeah, just chin him. Yeah, just chin him. chin him. And block him. Block him and chin him. Block him and chin him. 